Good evening, designers, and welcome to episode 72 of Game of Rugs. Today we're going to do some score reviews, and then we're going to do some voting, and then we're going to submit one of, you know, the least distinguished rooms ever to come out of my design home submissions. But I've had one of those days where you just, like, maniacally put together and submit rooms for no good design reason. They're there to be done. You do them. The results are maybe not everything you'd always hoped for. Anyway, let's go look at some previous results. I have five scores waiting from today. So here we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let me just clarify. The score is nice. The room is not nice. On the other hand, the room they gave us to decorate is pretty, you know... Gross? I think gross might be the word I'm looking for. Like, why would you do that to your ceiling? Anyway. Um, so this score is something of a surprise. On the other hand, let's look at the other rooms that won. Because really, how unatrocious can you make this room? And the answer is not that unatrocious. Like this, you know, I think everybody did the best they could with this room. And the rooms that got fives are probably, like, this is a really strong example. It's still atrocious. I mean, it's as good as it gets, but it's really, like, the room is just really bad. These are lovely, though. Wow. Whoever bought those was very smart to stock up on them, because that is an absolutely beautiful limited edition item. This room is actually not bad. The furnishings are lovely. It's just that the green ceiling is disgusting. And there's nothing you can put in here that makes it less disgusting. The art on these is nice. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to run out of nice things to say about this room because it's so horrible. Um, but that includes mine, so, you know, that's okay. Ooh, look at what you get at level 84. There are a lot of nice things you get when you're very old. Okay. So, yeah, my room is horrible, but it's not markedly more horrible than the other five. So I think we can all live with that. An Austin Loft. That's a nice score. Oh, I yeah. I saw a lot of people do. Um, I saw a lot of the submissions for this in voting, and I was not that impressed. Um, but... Let's see what one. Okay, there's a lot of green here. I mean, this is some of my favorite stuff I'll put together here. Look at that. That goes with the other one we just looked at. Um, there is a lot of... See, this bothers me. Okay, so here's the thing. This is a very nice arrangement of furniture, decor, and art. It has absolutely nothing to do with the set that we were given to decorate, aside from the fact that it's white, because there's like a really clear color hint with the green and red stuff on the pillar to the right. This furniture is completely unresponsive to it, and that really bothers me, and I would not have voted for that. Um... I can see the argument for black and white with red, and we're going to ignore the green. I mean, okay, this is very nice looking, but again, I feel like it's not responsive to the color cues. So I get, um, I get frustrated, I guess, when... Uh, okay, first of all, I get frustrated when people ignore the color cues, and second of all, I get frustrated when they don't ignore the color cues, but decorate for Christmas at the beginning of November. If it's just gonna be two months of Christmas decor between now and the first of January, we'll just come back in January. I'll just go away. We'll come back later. It'll all be fine. Because, oh my God, I'm horrified. I'm horrified. It's the 5th of freaking November. Okay, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, breathe deeply. Also, this is very cool. This is Silver Holiday Reindeer. It's still November. Okay. Anyway. 
A Mediterranean escape. Oh, well, honestly, that's a better score than this room deserved. I don't know about anybody else. I thought this room was really weird. It's like it's missing an entire piece of furniture. There should definitely have been a console table under the piece of art on the right-hand wall. I don't know what was going on with this room. Um, I, yeah. And, and I don't know what was going on with this room. My attempt at this room was terrible. And a 4.12 seems like a perfectly fair score to me. And, and you can never win too much Sunset West furniture because you always have to do an outside. See, everybody did a better job than I did, which is perfectly spot on. Um, that person bought lots of the blue decor set. This is from a previous uh, limited edition. I remember that. So is this. That's from the um, Coastal thing. Like a lot of their stuff is from the Coastal limited edition set. And look, they chose a really, really nice Cynthia Raleigh chair. This chair is perfect for this room. It's perfect. It's a good job. Really good job. Um, but they all look largely similar. Like this room, I think, is actually very nearly... A duplicate of this room. It's the same couch. It's the same ottomans. It's the same wall decor. Uh, I think the only thing that's different is the chair, maybe? Yeah. Because this one is using the blue chair. The chair and the rugs are different. So, yeah, I think we can safely say there was not a lot of variety in this one. Um, but that's fine. I got my Sunset West chair. It's all good. Rising in Houston. I loved this room. This is one of those rooms that was just such a catastrophe for me. Why I was uh, banging my head against the wall and like I knew that it hurt, but I couldn't stop. I really, really liked the set that they gave us and I really, really wanted to do a good job and I spent an absolute bomb of money on this room all the while knowing that it wasn't coming together very well and all of this money was being misspent. But I did it anyway, because, you know, you get free money, so it's not like it doesn't come back. Um, yeah, so I actually think a 4.57 is a kind of high score for this room, except that I saw stuff in voting that wasn't very good, like none of the stuff that I voted on for this room was great, so maybe the standard wasn't that high. Okay, I'm going to go with the standard wasn't that high. I think that was a good call. Um, it must be possible to put together a non-ugly version of this room. Even though I myself struggled to find it. So that's, I mean, that's not bad. It's very busy. Um, that I'm not a fan of that one. Also not a fan of that one. That seems very uncoordinated to me. Let's see, what about this one? Yeah, I guess it's, yeah. It was tough, this room was tough to do. I don't mind this, out of all the rooms that we've looked at, this is my most favorite. I like this one the best, and I'm just going to politely ignore the fact that the orange chair does not go with the orange ottoman. And we're gonna move on. So here is the last one, Warm Start in Washington. Oh, okay. Um, this wanted a bunch of blue stuff, and I dumped all my blue stuff in it. So that seems like a pretty high score, actually, for this room, which seems kind of basic. Uh, I'm, I really love all the new Lexington furniture. I'm very happy to win this console table. I'm loving the chairs and couches from Lexington. This is really nice. I'm not, I wouldn't have picked this rug, but this person got a five and I didn't, so what do I know? Um, here's a nice blue one. I do like that art. Do I get that art at some point? I do. I get that art when I'm 70. I will look forward to that. Um, here's a green one. Oof, okay, well, that's not to my taste. But obviously it's to many people's taste because it did very well in voting. 
ditto for that one. Those things look weird on that wall to me, but okay. Um, and this one. I mean, I do like this room. It's just not very imaginative. It's totally the kind of boring room that I would have put together if I had had furniture in that colorway. This one's probably my favorite. I really, really like this room. It's we all know I love me some neutrals, and it is a neutral, but it's got so much pattern and texture to it. It's just really nice to look at. I really love it, and the choice of the poofs on this rug was perfect. And that's a great use of limited edition art. So this designer is Modern and Sleek 12, and what a good job. What a good job. Okay, well, that was that. And then we have, um, yes, we have one of those days when I have just submitted everything. Um, as a, just, you know, who knows? Who knows why? I couldn't stop myself. And this is the last room I'm able to put together. I haven't submitted it. And you know what? They all kind of look like this. They're not great but I am obsessively submitting them anyway. To be fair, there, this, is, this is one of two rooms that were not good. I threw both designs out and started over again, and these are better than the designs that I had before. Um, so the only question that I have left with this room, because I'm determined not to buy anything, is um, whether... This art is better, or the plain pink art is better, but I think I'm going to go with the plain pink art. So, in order to submit this, we need to um, vote. So let's go vote. I love voting. I really like to see what other people did more than I like seeing what I did. I know what I did, and it's hardly ever interesting. My goodness. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening with that room at the top. But girlfriend, that was not a good choice of rug. It just is not working. Um, the room on the bottom is not fantastic, but it's it's a very well-coordinated design. There's a lot of thought that's gone into putting this together well, so we're voting for the room on the bottom. The room on the top doesn't have a rug. And the room on the bottom does have a rug, but also has some interesting stuff going on in here with limited edition items I have never seen before. Um, look at this. It's a level 66 blown glass sculpture. That's really beautiful. And this other thing is pretty outstanding too. This. This mountain lodge milestone, which I guess I'm getting shortly because my mountain lodge is nearly complete. Um, but that's pretty amazing. I'm really excited about that. I love to, to find stuff that we're going to get later. Um, yeah, so we're voting for the room on the bottom, no doubt. Ooh, okay. The room on the bottom, everything goes together and it's a good choice of rug, except for the art. The art goes with the room, but not the furniture. And the furniture goes with the room, but not the art. So let's see if the other one's any better. This is better coordinated-ish. The coffee table and the um, console table on the right are a problem. I'm going to vote those equal, to be honest with you. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to vote them equal. And cop out. Okay, the one on the bottom doesn't have a rug, even though I do really like this set of furniture. Also, I've been seeing this chair a bunch lately. And I don't like it, but I love seeing it used because it's just different and it's nice to see pattern stuff. But we are going to vote for the room on the top. Um, oof, the room on the top is in better arrangement of furniture, but has no rug. Buy rugs, people. Buy rugs. And the room on the bottom is an inferior arrangement to furniture, but it has a rug. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to vote for the one with the rug because that's what we're here for. That's literally the name of the game. Okay, we'll do one more round. Ooh, 
I could not put this room together to save my life. The rug used in the top room with these walls is atrocious, so we're not voting for that. Um, the Luckily, the room on the bottom is fine. It's not great, but it's okay. So we're going to vote for that. Room on the bottom. Great. Uh, neither one of these has a rug. The room on the bottom at least made an attempt to coordinate furniture, whereas the room on the top has a, like, a yellow side table. What is that even about? So we don't like rooms without rugs, but I am going to vote for the room on the bottom because I'm not voting for a room with a yellow side table. Um, the room on the bottom, again, with the yellow side table, and it's just fugly. Um, the room on the top is actually not bad. It's not great. The blue and white pot plant over there is weird in this room. Like, the pot color itself is strange. But that's my only criticism of that room. So we're voting for the room on the top, which is actually a decent job. Oh, good Jesus. Okay, um... The, I'm just going to assume... I'm just going to assume that this is a dump room. And I hope this person got their $500 uh, and is happy with it. Worth noting, however, their name is Results in 4 Hours, which is super cute. Um, so we are by default um, voting for this room on the bottom. Their name is not Results in 4 Hours. I haven't had enough sleep. That's... We're going to just move on with that embarrassing moment in my life. Um, the one on the bottom has no rug. The one on the top is not... A good room, but has a rug. So let's go with that. All right, we have enough keys to enter. Let's just have a super quick look at this room. I have loved voting on this. Um, some of these entries have been so great. Like this one at the top is really, really beautiful. I love this. Okay, I can't resist. These are nice. Um, this room on the bottom is I don't like the rugs, but like look at the art, you guys. Do you remember this art, this limited edition art? I remember when that came out. It's just a really beautiful um, set to design. And oh, this room on the top is gorgeous. That rug choice is so great with those couches and those plump, plump cushion and this West Elm Sebastian chair. I cannot get enough of it. And it is $399 and I am there for that all day long. So we're definitely voting for the room on the top with pleasure. It is beautiful. <gasps> oh my God. The room on the bottom is very nice, but whatever. The room on the top, look. Look at that. She saved up all her limited edition Lavender Fields rugs. And she used three of them. And look at the table decor. So pretty. It's pur 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 purple and perfect for this room. And this must be one of my favorite pieces of decor ever. How many um, limited edition, we're voting for the one on the top. When people buy these limited edition packs or pieces and hold on to them, I wonder how many they're buying that they still have them five months later. Um, anyway, the one on the top doesn't have any rugs and the one on the bottom does. So let's vote for the one on the bottom. And that's it. So we're going to go back to our design and finish this off. And, you know, you might be ugly, but your mama loves you. So off you go into the brave wide world. Submit design. I love the design home always tells me I did a great job even when I didn't. And that's that. So thank you so much for joining me for, today, for today's episode of Game of Rugs. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see future episodes of Game of Rugs, please become a subscriber. We would love to have you. Thanks.